and tricks for SOLIDWORKS 2016. Today we're going to start with one of my favorite productivity shortcuts. It is called the shortcut toolbar and it's activated by pressing the S key on your keyboard. So when I press S, I get a pop-up directly next to my cursor. So if I click off and I can move my mouse over to the left here, press it again, it follows my cursor. This is great for reducing mouse travel and having to eliminate the need to travel up over here to select things. So this menu is context sensitive, so I'm currently editing a part, so I'm getting my feature-based features. If I was to go into sketch mode and press S, I now get my sketch-based features. This toolbar is customizable by right-clicking and choosing customize. And as you can see, we can add any one of our commands inside of SOLIDWORKS to this toolbar. I'm actually going to add from my flyout toolbar the features. So my extrude boss, extrude base, um, sweep and, and so on. And we just simply left click and drag it. Now if we don't like the layout or size of this toolbar, we can adjust that as well to make it fit your need anyway. So now as you can see, I'm in sketch mode and if I just sketch something quickly, I press S and I have the ability to go directly to an extrude without having to run up across my screen. And it's especially important nowadays with the, the larger monitors that, that are coming out. Okay, second thing, command search. Now, I know everybody's excited about some of these new tools that have come out. But let's say you forgot where they were. Um, in the upper right hand corner, there is a search. And you have the ability to access a lot more than just commands from this search. You can access the help, uh, my SOLIDWORKS, you can get to the forums, YouTube, and so on and so forth. But we're just gonna focus on commands. So the commands here, let's say I wanted to find that awesome new thread tool. Well, let me first get out of Sketch because it is a feature based tool. Um, so it won't allow me to use it while I'm in a sketch. If I search for thread, you can see I have a couple of pop-ups here. I get the thread tool and then I get cosmetic thread. And it filters very, very quickly. I have two choices at this point, or two options. I can ask SOLIDWORKS to show me where the command is by pressing the eyeglasses, which, let's see what that does. When I left mouse click it, it actually takes my mouse away from me and moves it over there. I know nobody can see it, but I had my hands up in the air while it was doing that. So now it shows me, or teaches me, where the location is. And I also have the ability to learn what's, what's new about this tool, because it is a new tool. Um, but let's say I'm going to use that on a regular basis. Well, I can simply left mouse click and drag it, and drop it to any toolbar I like. Um, feature toolbar, sketch toolbar, wherever you'd like it in your command manager. Um, now, just for giggles, let's add um, the cosmetic thread tool next to it. And let's say down the road you realize that, you know, I don't use the cosmetic thread tool anymore. I don't want it cluttering up my toolbar. You can simply hold down your Alt key, left click, drag and drop, and it will remove the tool from the toolbar. The same thing is true for your context menus that we were just talking about, the S key. I can alt drag and it removes it from there as well. So between your shortcut S key and the command search, um, you should be able to find any command that you want in SOLIDWORKS and make yourself some nice custom toolbars that really help increase your productivity and decrease the time spent traveling across your screen. Next, we're going to take a look at the convert entities. Now, convert entities may not be new to most of you. Um, and in fact, I see most people use convert entities to convert the outside edge of a profile, which is a great way to save some time and convert it. Well, one thing that I learned this year with the convert entities is you can left click on a face, hold down control and control select an internal edge for a loop here, and it will actually cop copy the internal geometry. 
Now, this will work in older versions. It's not 2016 specific. Um, those of you that came to the What's New or have read through the What's New know that the 2016 Convert Entities does this a little bit differently um, directly in the dialog box. However, this can help anybody even if you're on older versions. So let me back up and we'll do that one more time. We select a face and an internal edge and it will copy just the internal edge and not the external face. Now we're gonna switch over to another part. And as you can see, we have a sketch here that is not fully defined. So I'm gonna show you a tool to help you define a sketch. Um, there's quite a few dimensions on here and they're probably the important ones that I need to control but the sketch is still underdefined, and, and I'm not quite sure why. And frankly, I just want it to be fully defined so that nothing moves around at this point, and I will come back and refine it. So SolidWorks has a tool, and it's in a couple of different places. Under Display Delete Relations, it's called Fully Defined Sketches. It's also in the Tools Fully Defined Sketch. Or we could search for it. So the fully defined sketch tool allows you to define your sketch using relations and dimensions or just one. Uh, in this case we're just going to add some more dimensions about my origin point which is down here. So this is going to be my zero zero and it's going to dimension everything off of it. It's very quick to use and you can see as I calculate it creates a whole bunch of extra dimensions that now make this sketch fully defined. If you don't like the results, you can undo them. You can go back and specify where you'd like the dimensions if you didn't like how the layout was. But in general, this tool is just to get everything fully defined and lock it down from moving. Now, what if I wanted to take and, and stretch this, this geometry right here. So let me select all that. I wanna take it, I wanna move this all the way to the left. I'd have to come in here and find a couple of the dimensions that control that and, and make a few changes. Or I can use the move entities to actually stretch the entity. So with all of that geometry selected, I can come in here, choose a point, and I can simply left click and drag my entire sketch out without affecting the dimensions. So the beauty of this tool is, as you can see, it changed more than one dimension as I did the drag and drop. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you at next year's rollout. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.